So we said a moment ago, across the U.S., children made up more than 22% of COVID-19 cases overall last week. Some of those cases are resulting in the need for students to quarantine. KSHB 41 News anchor Bryant Madrick explains how kids are learning when they can't be in the classroom. In the Gardner Edgerton School District, classes started back on August 12th. But as soon as kids got back to school, possible exposure to COVID-19 sent many of them back home. The COVID-19 dashboard for the district shows that between August 27th and 29th, there were six new positive cases of the virus, but 231 middle schoolers were placed in quarantine. Only five quarantines were reported a day later. The big question, with all of those kids home in quarantine, are they getting an education? In Kansas, a new law prevents school districts from offering more than 40 hours of remote learning to any student enrolled in the district. The bill gives exceptions for illness, injury, or extraordinary circumstance. So what kind of education are Gartner Edgerton students getting in quarantine? A district spokesperson told me in an email no one was available to do an interview, but said the district is mindful of the legislation and teachers are working with affected students to make sure any educational needs and potential gaps are addressed. We also wanted to know what safety measures are in place once students return. That's Spokesperson tells me some of the measures include enhanced cleaning, HVAC adjustments, frequent hand washing, and self-monitoring for illness. Gardner Edgerton initially made masks optional, but later changed their policy to require masks for grades K through six. Now, all students, staff, and visitors have to wear a mask regardless of grade or vaccination status. Now, we had more questions for the district, such as how many of the exposed students were actually in contact with the infected people? And what kind of an event would hold that many students that could actually be exposed to the virus? District spokesperson refused to answer that question, citing student confidentiality. Reporting in Gartner, I'm Bryant Madrick, KSHB 41 News.